Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to a new week at Ivy and Twine. I have left my little microphone at home so hopefully uh, the audio is not absolutely rubbish in this. Um, but if it is then please do bear with me. So the plan for today is to sort that out. We are actually going to um, our next trade show tomorrow though so... Um, shouldn't be too bad because I basically just need to make sure that we've got everything that we should and then Gordon and Sam are going to come up later on with the van and load it up for me. I have hurt my back, actually I hurt it like weeks and weeks ago, like maybe a month ago now actually and it's just like still really sore so I am trying to kind of take it easy and try not lift anything um so yeah so that should be good um and then yeah we are heading off to glasgow tomorrow for the scotland spring trade fair um it is normally in january this one but it got pushed back because of omicron um when that came on the scene so yeah obviously it's going to be kicking off on mother's day that means which um is a bit of a bummer but what can you do? Um, I've already seen my mum and given her her present last week and then we're gonna drop off Senga's, my mother-in-law's tomorrow and she's actually off to Spain on Sunday anyway so <laughs> in other news we are actually moving things around a bit in here um, it's actually coming up for a year as well that we have been in here or since we got the keys I think it was the end of March or beginning of April that we got the keys and then obviously it took us like three or four weeks to build all this and everything to actually get moved in. But yeah even though we put in like a lot of thought into kind of where everything's gonna go and everything like that of course it's only until you're actually in working that you kind of realize okay like this could be better and maybe this you know is not quite right for us. So such a mess in here but yes plan is that this space in here, which was going to be our YouTube studio, um, which is basically just where the dogs live just now, it's obviously a real waste of space to be honest. It's a massive room for just having two dogs in. Um, so yeah, we are actually going to convert the office at the front which again is a bit of a waste of space we just have the printer in there and like all of our labels and everything so we pretty much just use that for like printing off labels and invoices and that kind of thing like it's it is just i forget it's there honestly so that is a much smaller room so we are going to basically make that a little dog room for the dog so at the moment um the people that were in before us uh, before they left they put down a cream carpet in there which is just like first of all why second of all it's really not practical with muddy paws and everything like that so we are going to rip that up um rip up the flooring in the hallway and the toilet as well which is all just like really main it's just it needs replaced <laughs> it's not good so yes we're going to replace all of that flooring and just kind of dog proof the office make sure that there's no cables or anything out that pepper will definitely chew and then we are going to have a rethink about that room i think what we're planning on doing is basically moving like all of the calyx that's in here into that room and we're going to have it as kind of like stock and finishing um finishing the products everything like that so put some big tables um so that people can like twine jars and everything like that um obviously when i refer to people it is the staff which we are hoping to hire in the not so distant future um and then that will mean that we can have a lot more space in there for actually making all of the products
up anywhere, pal. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Saturday and we have just arrived at the SEC, um, so time to start unloading the van and setting up our stand. Hopefully it's not going to take too long because it is literally a lovely day outside. I think it's like 16 or 17 degrees Celsius. I know, can you believe it, in Scotland in March still. but. Yep, um, I think I'm going to have to take this hoodie off because I'm going to get absolutely roasty toasty if I don't. So I will see you soon. guys it is a lot later on now um, it's actually just after five um, so we're all finished setting up the stand for the show it actually took us quite a long time like in relation to how small our stand is like especially compared to um, Birmingham just there like it's only a meter deep and then it's like five meters wide I think but yeah we honestly just feel like we've been so unorganized for this show um so we didn't have like any of the electricals booked prior to showing up today so we had to go and book them and of course the guys had to come and like kind of get in the way a bit so yeah it did take a bit longer than expected but it's all done now we've got our badges um for tomorrow and we are just going to go and get checked in at our hotel for the next few nights. We're staying at the Crown Plaza again because it was so good last time and it's literally just over there so we can literally just walk and it takes like two minutes so it's perfect. And we brought our swimmies this time so we can enjoy the spa and have a nice little steam sauna at the end of the day which I think will be much needed after being on our feet all day. You say classy, Glasgow. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, welcome. Whoa, look at that sun. And we have a nice view of the car park. It's not quite as good as last time, is it? <laughs> that is the transport museum. Where? That there, that's designed by Zaha Hadid Architects mm -hmm. before she died. Oh, really? Yes. How did you know that? Because I was there when it was getting built. Really? Because yep. I used to be smart and I was studying architecture and we went when Fun they fact. were installing the aircon system. It's not Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good, very nice. Hello, chicken. And banana. that's the SEC. Which is ugly and designed by not an architect. <laughs> and on that note, we shall see you tomorrow. Morning guys, I'm just here at the SEC. Uh, we've got the stand all set up and we're, I think the doors are actually just open now. So I'm away to get coffees. Um, but there's actually a food section at this show here, um, which could be very dangerous for my waistline, I think. Um, so hopefully there'll be lots of free samples. Oh my god, there's cake everywhere. Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to get get set up, get ready to rock and roll, and hopefully we should have a busy day today. But it is it's actually Mother's Day today, so 
don't know how that's going to impact us. Normally, the Sundays for like independent shoppers, uh, independent shops, sorry. And obviously, with it being Mother's Day, hopefully, all you mothers out there are getting treated today. So, hopefully, for you guys, we're quiet. Hopefully, us for us. Maybe the kids take you shopping at a trade show. So it's a bit weird to be back. It's been two years since we were last here and I've just actually bumped into a guy that's got a Scottish Crest manufacturing business who was actually next to us at our first ever trade show that we did here. And we were just kind of chatting about the past couple of years with COVID and how business has been and everything. And it's quite funny because he's done the exact same thing as us. He's moved everything into like a 3,000 square foot warehouse and he's diversified into doing a lot of things. He's actually making candles now as well. Competitor. Um, so yeah, it's actually really interesting to get a catch up with people that we know from years ago and see how their businesses have changed and what they've done to survive COVID. And it turns out his landlord is actually a chap that's got a packaging company who we have been in talks with for something that's coming later this year. So yeah, he's going to put in a round robin email to the to the owner for us and hopefully speed things up and maybe we'll get a deal. I don't know. So I think plan for the rest of the day we'll try and we'll try and get some more footage throughout the show. But people are quite funny about videoing and getting their stands on camera and stuff. Everyone's really super secretive with all their products. So I don't know how possible that's going to be. Hopefully we'll have some current uh, stockers come on the stand and maybe do like a little meet and greet thing if they're up for it and introduce you guys to some of the some of the shop owners that we work with. We tried that at the last show and no one was that that keen to be on camera, hadn't put their face on or whatever. So hopefully we'll catch up later on the day. If not, we'll maybe see you tonight because I think we're going somewhere pretty sick for dinner. Good morning guys, it is Monday morning. We have just left the hotel after having breakfast and we are walking to the SEC for day two. Do we want to talk about how day one was? It was awful. <laughs> Actually the worst ever day at a trade show I've ever experienced. Yeah. Life. It was so dead. Like I can't I can't even I don't have any words. Yeah. It was just like Sorry springboard events, but that was tragically bad. That was the worst day we've ever had at a trade fair by a long shot. Just no one to even talk to. Yeah, there was like literally no people. Like at one point during the day on the first day, I looked down and it was literally all exhibitors just like wandering around chatting to each other. Mm. It was just it was really the hard worst. Work. Yeah. yeah, I think <laughs> so we, we had like maybe three conversations yesterday, one of which were was, was with uh, an existing stockist, existing stockist Marchman in uh, Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, who are needing some more bits and a nice nice couple of ladies from Moffat yes. who seem quite cool uh -huh. um, and then someone else but but not up. much yeah, that, yeah. 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 anyway um, I don't know if we've said it was Mother's Day yesterday so it was yeah, I think really I said a few days ago quiet. yeah so we did we did think that will definitely have an impact on it but we did not realize it would be quite so much as it was like every shop owner in Scotland <laughs> loves their mum yeah and it was a beautiful day as well it was like 17 18 degrees sun out yeah. so I think that probably didn't help as well which makes it so much worse being stuck inside yeah. a conference center at work exactly it's when fact you know it's beautiful outside and there's like four beer gardens within walking yeah. distance but anyway it's a new day and hopefully there will be a lot more people here today um, yeah, we will let you know, fingers crossed. We'll see you later when we've made lots of money.
Hello guys, I am back at work. It is Wednesday, so we just got back last night and unloaded all the stuff again. But I am going to deal with it this time before the next trade show because the next one isn't until July, which is Harrogate. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not staying there until then. So I just checked back and I believe the last time I spoke to you guys was on Monday when we were just heading into the show for uh, day two. So obviously, you know, day one was a complete uh, washout, no orders, first ever time that that's happened. And yeah, more than anything, it was just a really, really long day to kind of be on our feet at a show and only have like a handful of people to talk to all day. Day two, we took a few orders. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, that was much better, but still like so quiet compared to all the other trade shows that we've done. And then day three was also a zero day so no orders. But yeah, look at the positives. We got a couple of new people on board and also got to catch up with quite a few of our stockists that managed to make it along as well. So that was nice. We also got a chance to catch up with some of our other exhibitor friends that we tend to see at all these shows. But yeah, overall feeling kind of poop about it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world, especially with everything that is going on in the world right now. I feel like if we've had a bit of a rubbish trade show, then, you know, I'm gonna take that and not kind of spend too long uh, wallowing. <laughs> Looking at the bright side of things, we only have about 12 orders, I think. Um, wholesale that is to still fulfill. And I was saying to Gordon the other day, like, I honestly, it feels weird like leaving a trade show and not feeling like like frantic in the fact that we know we're gonna be like working flat out to get everybody's orders out the door for like weeks. Instead we are going to try and use this time which we're kind of coming into the quieter time of year for us. Um, normally find that kind of from like April onwards uh, until September really is probably the quieter time of year for us. Um, so yeah, we are going to use this time wisely and try and get on top of all of our stock levels. We have another couple of new products that we, <laughs> Pepper's growling, that we are planning to release in the coming months. I'm not sure when exactly, but there are a few things that we really do need to kind of get working on. So it'll be good to kind of have more time to, um, spend on that basically. And also just to end the vlog on a positive note, uh, which I think is very much needed, we have actually been rolled out to several new locations of National Trust for Scotland sites. So that's amazing. Really, really chuffed. Um, so yeah, we will be updating the stockist list shortly. So um, I will leave a link to it below if you do want to go and have a look, see. Go see the dogs. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> She's trying to chew my gorilla pod. Right. If we can all just have a moment's peace so I can say goodbye to the vlog, that'd be great. Okay? So guys, that is it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Please do make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.